Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, all right. Put up a big one, with Luthwin now. Okay, Luthwin. Uh, let me yeah. get back here. Uh, let's see. That should be there. We go, Luthwin, right there. Did everybody see and that? Luthwin is an elf, correct? Correct. Yep. From Merkwood. Yep. Anyone else? <laughs> Now, oh. I love the artist, uh, Magali Villanueva, okay? He has done some absolutely amazing artwork for um, the One Ring. Or not the One Ring, but uh, various uh, Middle-Earth games, okay? So, uh, the, the one that I showed for Radigan was actually supposed to be for Legolas, but... I always, I, I'm sorry, I just don't picture Legolas being that effeminate. So, mm -hmm. you know, call me strange, but that's that's what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and drive on. Anybody else have anything else to do for the evening? Okay, the, ne the new morning dawns. Um, and, uh, and of course the evening was very celebratory, just like the evening before. And, uh, uh, the Bayornings and, and Noreen seem to be a bit more stout than what they were drinking. Um, for, <laughs> let's see, uh, for, let's see, Jamie's not here tonight, so Eagle is not there. Uh, Yuld and Luthwin and Radigand. If you had any drinking at all last night, um, you are a little bit the worse for wear, but not so much that it can keep you from participating. Okay. Um, there right. is a good hearty breakfast that is, is made for everyone. And... Uh, you have the opportunity to to eat and converse with others there, um, and again to find out, uh, you know what it is that's going on in the town. You know how the how the uh, festival came about. Things to know about this supposed magical uh, um, uh, scythe that is out there. Uh, the sickle of the moon, um, and and more or less to make friends. Uh, the Bayornings, having been standoffish the previous two evenings and most of yesterday, uh, seem to be a lot less, <sighs> a lot less reticent that you all are there and are becoming more friendly to you, but. There is word in the air that Bayorn may actually show up to this because he shows up every so often. Though he and he tends to dislike crowds, so the buzz is that uh, Bayorn the Skin Changer, uh, the master of the Bayorning folk, may show up. Oh no wonder they're all happy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so. Um, unless any of you have anything to do, yes, no, maybe? Let's get to the festivities. Okay. Might as well. So the next contest is known as the Seeking Field. This contest is held shortly after dawn on the second day of the festival. Next to Shurak's, uh, Shurak the Bull's corral is a fallow field. The festival organizers have hidden many small prizes, copper coins and other baubles, throughout the field. But the most important prizes are those without any value at all. And one of these is held up for, for kind of uh, just visual examination. They are small rocks, uh, flat rocks, that are engraved with a moon on their flat mm -hmm. sides. And the moon actually looks like uh, 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 the sickle of the moon, but it's just a carving, a basic carving. Um, young Avagisa, what's that? I'm gonna find them all. 
you, you're going to find them all. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, so young Avagisa, uh, who is still in her early teen years, is a favorite for winning this. But there are several children that are involved because they tend to find things. But again, um, uh, they are more or less out there for fun. Um, yeah. Now, this is not considered unfair because there are a good many small prizes out in this field. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, all right. So, Avagisa, I have. Whom else would like to participate? Uh -huh. No, I would. Me. No, me okay. Ruth one would. Okay. So hold on. Let me go one at a time. Noreen. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I want to go down to the next line. So Noreen. And I think it's 0243 for the accent. Yes, I'm getting good at this. Okay. Uh, I believe I heard a cry from Radigan and from uh, Luthwin. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Yes. So I'll come back for scans in just a minute. So Radigan. Oh, did I spell that right? Yes, I did. Luthwin. Whom else? Uh, I'll get a shot too. Might as well. Okay. So that is Ewald. What about you, Duota? You gonna join in? Yeah, champion. Well, Duota's <laughs> already won one. And you the rules are more than one. right. Yeah. Rules are you can't win more than one. And she can still participate. Though. Yeah, you could still participate. Do you want to? Sure for the hell of it. Sounds like fun. Okay, right. control C, control N, control V, and so do Oda. Okay. I take it uh, Eagle is uh, hungover, uh, and so is Wolfred. Uh, yeah, e Eagle is hungover, and then Wolfred is um, trying to trying to see if he can help Eagle get back to more or less a, a standing. Um, uh, position. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, here's what I want to do. I want you to roll strength. You should be able to click just on strength. One sec. Let me pull up my character sheet again. Okay. Uh, uh, no, hold on. Uh, what would that be? Heart, wits, um, I, but, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Trying to eat my chips. Well, the cat can't have your chips. Um, <laughs> so here's what I want you to roll instead. I want you to click on Valor. That's up at the um, up near the top right. The heroic stature. You know, under heroic stature. Okay. Yep. Valor. Yep. And just a normal roll. Right. Any advantages or disadvantages? Nope. Just a normal roll. Okay. Okay. Oh. Nope. So here's what the deal is. Um, you are. Let's see. I'm going to give you a penalty of one dice on your first roll. Okay? So that's just a penalty oh, of so one. So my first roll is at minus three, huh? So, no, 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 no. In this particular instance, uh, the skill that you all will be using is scan. The target number is standard or zero. There's no change for any of the three tests, but it's still a prolonged test. So you're just going to roll as normal. Now, let me get down your scans. Uh, Norin? Sorry, I was eating something. Uh, that's um, okay. Thank you for not chewing on that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have three and it's favored. You have 20 and it's favored. No, I said three. Three and it's favored. Okay. 
I was like, Dang, I, thought, I thought you were going to be pulling my leg there. Okay. Um, <laughs> Radigan. Well, I, might have, uh, I might have something that will help me. Okay. My, uh, abilities. Okay. Uh, All right. Fair enough. Uh, Radigan. I have two, and it's favored. Okay. Lothwin. Uh. Since I have the speakers, I was thinking of and talking to the field and you know, figuring out where they are. You, you, you might be able to do that, but you still have to find things. So, what would, what would that be? Say, well, it, it's still that. going to be scan. Um, let's see. All right, gang, you help me figure this out. Do we give him a bonus dice on one roll or, um, let's see, how would, how would we do this? Here's how I'm going to do it. You can use a bonus dice on your first roll. If you use speakers again after that and are successful, I would give you one experience point each, or one adventure point, as they call it in second edition, each. Or no, wait a minute. I could give that to your your skill. So I would give you a bonus point to scan uh, uh, the scan experience. What is he using to up his stat again? Well, it's called the speakers. As an elf, he has the uncanny ability to be able to speak to natural objects. It could be rocks, grass, animals. Rivers, streams. Rivers, streams, the yeah. Forest. The air. He could speak to the wind. Um, have you ever heard the wolf cry to the new corn moon? Um <laughs> and, and and that's the kind of ability that Luthwin has. So I think that's what I would be willing to do. But I, in this particular instance, since it's such a a a, a, a potential bonus, uh, what I do is I would give one dice on your first roll. Since it's prolonged action, it it counts basically as one big action. Um. Uh, but if you succeed, if you're still using uh, speakers after that, I would be willing to give you an experience point for a success, a, a, a skill point for a success um, uh, with the speakers. How does that sound? But it's uh, got it's got to be everybody. What do you mean by that. okay? That sounds pretty cool. Okay, so well, that's that's uh, that's Duota heard from. She's at the top of the list. Yuld, what do you think? Yeah. Okay. Um. So let's see, Norin. So this one's gonna have an advantage. Uh, well, yes, actually, I'm gonna ask you about uh, what you're thinking to use as an advantage here in a minute as well. Yeah. Alright. Okay, and it will I mean, it may go along the same lines as Luthwin. I have an odd question. Sure. Is this part of Merkwood? Um this no, the speakers is for this, everywhere. This area. The, this whole area. Is no, this no, no, part no. Of no, no, you you are in the Anduin really Vales. Okay. This is way outside Merkwood. Yeah. You're you're it probably a good where I, where I am. I can speak to everything everywhere. Yeah, but um, outside of Merkwood, you're 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 probably about forty miles outside of Merkwood. So you you can't even really see the trees on the horizon anymore. So okay. Uh, anyway, Norin, what do you think? Did you say yes? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I was going to be using. And whatnot, anyway, to help me. Okay, um, and massively win. Okay, well, uh, let me come back to that in just a minute. Radigan, what do you think about Luthwin being able to use the speakers? Well, um, 
I, I, I'm thinking that it would be hard. Would some of the, the marked stones speak louder than others? Or would would they just say they're all stones here or i mean they okay the, the the speakers um does not really give super detailed information okay if if it's alive uh uh like like shrek the bull okay um then there's likely to be a more intelligible answer but mm -hmm. the the grass or the wind anything that that really moves uh you know via the wind or rain or whatever it uh can give you a little bit more information but when it comes to things like rocks and and uh, uh you know um natural items that just kind of sit there you might get a location almost like echo location in the dark okay but not so what i'm thinking is that i was like i could say who's new here and they would be like oh i'm new here i'm new here i wasn't here before yeah but you might get a whole lot of answers at the same time that could end up being exactly. confusing which is why i'm going to give you one dice for the first roll uh as a bonus but the second and third rolls if you're successful you'll get a skill point each <laughs> okay. yeah and i would say norin would have more of an advantage with his Stone crafting and being able to spot the mark stones as stones out of place from their natural location. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got I mean I'm I'm a crafter and a expert finder of materials. Okay. So I'm gonna have hopefully good luck finding things. I don't know I don't know if the stone cutting will will work so much as that it's more of a Thing, but let's well, see. <clears throat> let me see something. Hey, hang on a second, folks. I'm sorry. Rhymes of lore might help me. Since it might be magic. Uh, no, Rhymes of lore is not going to help in this case. Uh, no, let's see. And, 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 just have to use hope and, or, and tunneling is for hope. underground. Stonecraft. Let me read that. Cutting rock to build works of stone such as walls, halls, and towers is a precious skill revered among the highest. You are able to discern the diverse qualities of the many building materials. You're not really working on a building here. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it might not. Yeah. True, but I'd say he, he could say, well, what is a piece of river quartz doing in the middle of a field? Well, yeah, but it, his, his doesn't work like the speaker's. No, no, yeah, it's not like that. No, I'm just I saying had to, I had to physically examine everything. And yeah. That. yeah <clears> so it's not, it's not the same. So I'm I'm gonna say Norin probably not on this one. Yeah, um I that's, Yeah. It, it, okay. Well, that's all right. Okay. So I have fourteen home. Okay, so let me make sure. I think we stopped at Radigund for getting down scans. No, we stopped at Luthwin for getting down scans. Uh, what was As your... I brought up... Okay, my scan is unfavored uh, one. Oh, my. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was thinking, can I use my uh, I riddle, think... which is talking to stones, which is favored in one? Um, No, you're not going to be able to use riddle for this. Um... Oof. I will still take that bonus. Yeah. Well, I might win after all. As long as I don't roll, man. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right, you old. What is your scan? It is two unfavored. Two unfavored, okay. Duota? Catherine. Yes. <laughs> what is Duota's scan? Oh. oh, that would be me. Yes. Okay. Uh, no. One not favored. One not favored. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. Have any of you read through your character's abilities and stuff to find out if there's anything else you might be able to to do apart from Norin and Luthwin? 
I mean, I'm a mountain man, so I can't do anything, really. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me pull out... A hunting skill, maybe? No. No, that's, that's for animals. Sorry. Okay, so we'll get this trial underway. All right, Duota, you're going to be first on this one. So it's three I'm, rolls, I'm no bonuses or penalties, huh? I'm, I've got a drunken disadvantage. Yep, and you're, yep, you're at minus one, so you've got a d12 that you can roll. You can do it, Torchbearer, come on. You know what? I'm only going to take that drunken disadvantage off of just your first roll. Did I already say that? Yes. Okay. I think you did, yeah. Okay. So, Duota of Stonyford. Yeah, after that, some stiff exercise, Subbers, you right up. <laughs> I'm sure. I'll, I'll play your silly game. Or you game. throw up and you feel better. Okay, go ahead and give me your second roll without a penalty or bonus. Second one? I haven't done the first one yet. You've got it, Duota, Duota of Stonyford. Oh, you rolled fear? What? Yeah, you, uh, Duota of Stonyford is showing up as fear. You've got I a fear of valor. Last night for, I mean, oh, oh, oh the, okay. Yeah, there's never mind. There's... Never mind. I'm I'm screwed up. Go ahead and roll. Minus one. <laughs> okay. It's been a long weekend, guys. I understand completely. Okay, so let's see that was your first one that was from 13 minutes ago to figure stuff out okay so you've got a failure on that one um you you take a moment and collect yourself and try and go again this time without any penalty All right okay eight that unfortunately is also a failure um so you find you have found so far that um, you can pick up some little things like, uh, you know, you know, the plastic eggs you can pick up at Easter. Yeah. Uh, it, you're not picking up plastic eggs, but you're, you're getting like small stones all over the place that do not have a moon shape on them. Okay. Hmm. These rocks look like rocks. These rocks look hmm. like rocks. Okay. So go ahead and give me your third. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Did you give me your third? Okay, 34 seconds ago. No. There we go. Goodness gracious. Okay. So, yeah, um, you fall down at the end of the field and burp loudly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Good one. You, hey, Kat, shouldn't you have yeah. added plus two for no, that one? No, no, plus no, no. No, all three of them are at zero. No bonus, no penalty. All base rolls. Yep, all base okay. rolls. Um, so that, you know, you had a lot of fun doing that and being drunk, you were able to kind of chase the kids around a little bit and, uh, and, and they were very happy to, to have, uh, Duota, uh, around again for a few minutes. Uh, and then at the end of the whole thing, you just like disappear into the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Just giggling like an idiot, eh? Uh, yeah, that works. That works. A, a few of the so, kids go to join you because they're tired of running around, too. So, <laughs> All right. Yule, your turn. All right, let's see what I can do. All right. Oh, did it go? There it is. Okay, so... Ouch. Yeah, ouch. Ouch. Um... <laughs> Okay, so that's a nothing right there. Nothing burger. Go for your second roll. All right. That's a little bit better. So you you got a success Yay. out of it, but that's you 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 managed to find like a base farming implement. Uh, let's say a um a, a, a hand trowel. Okay, but that that's pretty much all you're able to find. It still counts. It still counts for a point. Okay, go ahead and go with your third one. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, no. that's not a little bit better. Okay. Oh, that is bad. Yeah. Um, you manage to trip, fall, and damage your ankle. 
Okay, oh, so God. so you get to <laughs> learn. I would just say he lost the spade. <laughs> I, we, no, I he's, it. <laughs> he still gets the point. Um, but it, he manages to stick his foot in a hole and uh, 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 is unable to do anything else but limp back to uh, to Stony Ford. Okay. In the no, it had to be in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You're from Mountain Hall, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> You're used to all kinds of angles and rocks sticking out, and you can climb up like a champ, you know, whatever you want to do. However, when it comes to Flatlander, you know, area, you're just done for. Um, Okay, I'm gonna lean the grass with water. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to walk right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Luthwin, your turn, and don't forget to add that plus one for your first roll. Okay, so scan. Ooh. That's pretty Great nice. Success. Great success. Okay, so one for the success and one for the Tangwar rune, so that's two. Um, let's see, what can we find? You find a horseshoe. Uh, it's kind of a, a, a more primitive horseshoe, kind of the pre, pre, uh, pre-runner to a horseshoe, something that a, um, a, a Rohirrim would, would not even take a look at. They'd be like... <laughs> throw it over their shoulder, and go, here, this is a real one. Um, <laughs> uh, the second item that you find is, let's see, is a flute, a carved wooden flute that doesn't work anymore. Um, something happened, and uh, the neck on it kind of got damaged a little bit, so it's not worth anything. Go ahead and give me your second roll. Okay. And this one, yeah, is not a plus or a minus. Correct. So let's success. see. Success. Success. Okay, but it's just a success. So you find, um, let's see, what kind of a funny thing can we have you find? You find a dry cow pie from Shrek. But it counts. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. Now, remember, this field is right next to Shrek's, uh, corral. So, it was probably placed there on purpose because Shrek's corral is where Shrek does his thing, typically. Uh, so give me your third roll. All right. Wow, that went around pretty tough. Oh, no. No, you got nothing out of that one. Uh, let's see. You are already moving back towards uh, Stony Ford because you believe that the beginnings of the field were not explored well enough. But you see that mm. those fields have actually been picked clean. All right. That's worth a try. Okay, that gets you three points, though. So, Radigan, you are first. Don't forget your point. I, th I think I gave you a point for last night, right? Um, and then, yeah, that, that should be it. Yeah, Just yeah. that one point, right? Huh? Oh, you haven't got to me yet. Uh. Right, haven't got to you yet. You're next. So... Um, I roll scan at a plus one this first time, huh? Correct. So that'll be a total of three dice that will come out. And it's favored, so you'll have two, uh, uh, two feet dice. Okay, well, I see a Gandalf's rune in there. So you got a Gandalf's rune and a, uh, and a good success. So, well, an automatic... Oh, wait a minute. That's an automatic success. So, let's see. Uh, that's still a success. So, um, 
you got the Gandalf's room, which is two and the basic success, I think. Uh, let me open up uh, Radigan's sheet. Oh, wrong tab. Um, let's see. Come on now. So scan is in that. Your target number is a 12. So you did not have a success. Um, so you get two for the uh, Gandalf's rune, though. Because that is basically considered an automatic success. And as a Gandalf's rune, you get a moonstone. One of the stones with the moon on it. Yep, the ones with the, the moon on one, it. Yeah, first ones today. So um, then uh, roll two more scans without any. Correct. Uh, pluses or minuses. So give me one at a time, please. All right. Here's the, the whole interpreting one. thing needs to take a minute. Okay. Okay. So. Let's see. So, yes, that one is actually a success. So that's one point. Um, and then the, the moonstones are, well, let's see. Gave you two for that. Yeah, you found a moonstone. We're just going to say that. Uh, let's see. What is a different thing that you could find? Um, you find a horse bit. So, you know what the, the horse gets in its mouth to keep its harness on? Yes, yes. Yeah, you find a horse a bit. Yeah, a halter basically. Yeah. You find a horse bit with a uh with some torn leather coming off of it. Obviously it was broken off somehow uh or something like that. Uh so give me your third roll please. Ooh, wait a minute. Radigand. Man, you're doing really good. You you didn't get a success on its own, but you did get an automatic success. So that is a Gandalf's rune and another moonstone. Yeah. So I found something uh, in all three tries. Yeah, I think you're going to win this one. So that's a total of five points for you.